YouTube Ugly Bad back with a tutorial for Roblox describing how to make actually good places not made out of stupid terrain stampers. So pl pl the places nowadays are made with terrain like this, which uh, which allows you to use a super retarded stamp, which makes you use a super retarded stamper tool of super limited abilities, and it's just plain crappy. And on regular places, build mode just gives you the same crappy stuff and it's just bad it's ruining all places in roblox making them absolute crap so i'm here to hopefully fix that problem so don't use the retarded build button that lies it's like stamp it's more like stamp not build shut up build button don't use that piece of crap use something better use roblox studio <laughs> Roblox's studio should come when you play Roblox for the first time. It should download that by default. Oh crap. I'm sorry, just wait for that. So yeah, build is just bad. So open up Roblox Studio, which is normally found in like all programs, Roblox, Roblox Studio. You could you can't just drag it to the desktop or why does it always create that? I have to delete that every single time I launch it. So just wait for this to load. It it always takes a long time to load. Oh, oh, wait. All right, so we are in Roblox Studio, which, as I've said before, is a lot better than the build button that lies. And it's taking a long time to load again. Just wait, please. So, in Roblox Studio, you'll notice that there is a third button, Edit, which is a lot better than that little lying button right there. So, in Roblox Studio, you want to click Edit. Don't click that retarded button right there that lies to you. Click Edit, which is a lot better. And it also takes some time to load. I never understood those random <laughs> messages. So yes, I made this little sample place here to show. So edit is a lot more open-ended than that stupid little build mode, which makes all the new, all which makes all the Roblox places of. To, to zero twelve, an absolute piece of crap. Because noobs are building places, and they're all made with the stamper tool. See, so like, oh my gosh, I'm building a place. Ooh, oh, th this is gonna be the best place ever. No, no, the stamper tool sucks. Don't use that. So what you want to do first is to get rid of this absolute piece of crap. This is what I do to get rid of the terrain. I use the terrain brush and I just put the height in the negatives and I put the radius big enough and then I just erase that horrible piece of brick. Can't even call brick piece of crap. There you go. So you just just remove that aw that awful blemish. If you don't remove this, your building is still going to be seriously limit limited. You can't put ac you can put actual bricks on top of it, but it still just sucks. I don't suggest keeping it. And then, after you're done with that, you can deselect that. So now you notice that there's lots of buttons up here. The button you want to hit is this one right here, Toolbox. It gives you all this stuff. All this really cool stuff. So you want to go to Roblox Sets Bricks. A wide array of bricks is available to use. This is what I guess you could call the starter brick. The green plastic brick. This is the brick that I always start my places with. So first of all, if this was running in real time, the brick would fall. That's not good. To make it not fall, 
in real time. Oh, sorry, just it takes a while to reset that. To make it not fall in real time, you want to anchor it. See? Anchor, prevent moving. This will no longer fall in real time. Anything unanchored, however, will fall. So, you see, you have different surfaces here. You have smooth, glue, glue makes stuff attached with our sticking next to it. Weld does the same thing. This is the stud. And it, it indent studs connect normal studs only if the normal studs are facing in that direction, however. And universal studs, which is a mix of both, which is which is useful in most cases. And a hinge used for like doors and stuff. If I put so I'm just gonna copy this brick. Whoops, get rid of that little thing. Unanchor it. Now the resize tool lets you to resize stuff. See that? See that? And um fill can switch to color. And move on axis. Pretty self explanatory. So if we hook this thing up to the hinge right here and then we turn on the weight it needs to be more weighted off to one side than the other and we run it in real time the hinge make allows it to swing like so this is good for certain physics stuff so resetting that may take a moment I hate this so resetting that if we return that to normal and turn the hinge into a motor. See the difference? I believe you can adjust some properties on this too. Yeah, see surface inputs right here. I don't know how to work that, but this allows you to switch some stuff about the motor. So rehook so hooking this brick back up to the motor and turning on real time. It does that. So, yeah, motors allow that to happen. Or just make that happen, I guess. Uh, Alright, so getting rid of that and that. Um, I like to make my bricks smooth for building. So, right here, there's materials. Different links for the look. You have the original plastic, wood, Slate, concrete, corroded metal, diamond plate, foil, otherwise known as tin foil, grass, one of the most commonly used, I think, for, at least by me, and ice, one of my favorites. So, for the base plate, I'm going to use grass. So, if you notice, this brick isn't really what you would call flat, so it's not good for a base plate. However, coming over to this right toolbar right here, scrolling down, wait, where? Right here. See, I can turn this into a plate, or a brick. Also, I can change the shape, like a sphere, or a cylinder or just back to a block anyways making this a plate so it's flatter now moving that down as far as you can is recommended now what you want to do is resize this to a moderately good size it can be made a lot bigger than this this is just a sample now what you want to do is go to bricks um, no Roblox sets game stuff there's several selections right here what you want if it is a neutral spawn location for normal non team places so just wherever this is this is where the player or players will spawn when they play just gonna we'll go ahead and start right there and if you notice you can still click this you, like if you're building with this you could accidentally drag this and screw everything up to fix this you can use the lock tool it prevents selection this brick is now locked I can't select it I can still select this one 
but not this one. This is really useful for some building. Hmm. Moving on. There is... Well, I guess that's really all the basic stuff. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope your noobish building skills have gotten better. Don't use build anymore. If you know how to use studio, do not use build. Thanks a lot for watching. Probably going to make a more diff separate tutorials for separate things like vehicles and stuff. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.